Hey guys, it's David. So, <laughs> I've been having an itch, and you guys already know. I want to do some more vessel makeovers. <laughs> I know, but let's just get into it, okay? I want to show you guys my inspiration photos and kind of go over, like, each piece and where I got it, how much I paid, what I'm going to do to it. So let's get started. All right, so the first item is this cute jug. It's a ceramic piece that I found at the thrift store. They were asking originally $10, which is kind of a lot, but I went on a half off day, so I only got this for $5. It doesn't have a cork, but I was thinking if I can find a large enough cork that it would be fun to kind of stick one in there. I really enjoy the shape of this piece. It's pretty big. But this is going to be really cute when I'm done with it. The second piece I found at a garage sale. She was asking $3 originally for each vase that she was selling. I really do like the color and the crackle effect on this. However, it's just not exactly my style with this little like squiggly thing. I think it's kind of odd. I guess you could just turn it like this. But I really like the shape of this. And I thought it looked really similar to the inspirational photo here on Pinterest. As you can see, that one has a handle attached, so I am going to be making a cute little handle for this one and trying to paint it a very similar color. And yeah, so I think this is going to turn out really cute. So I can't wait to get started with this one. The last piece I found was this cute little pot. It has this wooden topper, just super cute, and these cute little handles already built in. Love that. I don't really like what's going on here. It is a little textured, like the little decor on it kind of bumps out a little bit. So it's um, textured right here, if that makes sense. It's not flat, but I figured I'd remove the lid, which it fell off, <laughs> and leave it like this for a little vase, you know, a little pot vase with the handles. I'm probably going to have to go over some kind of texture to kind of go over this because I don't want those to pop through or anything when I paint it. So we'll see what I end up doing. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to change this one up. I got this at an estate sale for $2.50. Now let's get started. In case you are new to my channel or maybe you forgot, I like to try and participate in the Thrift Flip Road Trip Open Challenge and we have pushed it off the last few months so we are back and we're going to be trying to do this the second Thursday of every other month. So stay tuned for more to come. But for now, I'd like to thank Crafting Cousins and Unicorn Dust Designs for putting on this open challenge for all of us so we can join in as creators. It is such a fun challenge and there will be a playlist linked down below in the description box so that you can see everyone's video and what they decided to flip. I always love to do my vases. I do a lot on my channel, so it's kind of no-brainer here. But one thing we like to do is tell you guys where you are at on your road trip, and you have arrived in Indiana, and I hope you can stick around. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out the two hosts of this collaboration. I'll have the playlist linked down below. Let's get started. All right, for some reason, this did not record anything. I don't know what happened, but here we are. You guys saw this piece at the beginning, the first clip I showed you. All I did was spray paint it a matte black. It does have a little bit of shine, but that's no big deal. I'm gonna go in and do some hand painting with some baking soda. I have my supplies over here. I am a little bummed, I don't know what happened. Here's another piece. I picked out this piece because for some reason I couldn't find the smaller vase that you guys saw. I don't I don't know where it went. I'm going to have to figure out where I put it. But that's fine. I'll just, you know, move on and pick something else. It sucks that you guys couldn't see what this looked like prior cuz again, I don't know what happened. It wasn't recording when I was doing all this. This one I had it had these, it was green and white, you guys kind of saw it. It had these like bumped out, like raised design right here. I went over that with some uh, joint compound and then I blended it out and then I, I spray painted it this smoky gray color right now. So it just has a base color. You can still see those things popping up, the design, but I'm going to try to work over it and see if I can just cover it up. And then this vase was purple and blue. Um, I don't even 
I just spray painted it black. Oh, there's still some kind of showing right here. I didn't like it. It also had this kind of coppery design that was all the way around the vase. Again, I didn't really care for it, so I just tore that off. Probably use it in another project. So I spray painted it, and then now I'm gonna go in with some colors. Obviously I need to fix the purple blue spots popping through. I think it looks better already, to be honest. And I love these little edges. I get to play with that, so that'll be fun. So that's the vases I'm doing. There are these four pieces. And then I was working on this project, which I'm just so annoyed that nothing got recorded, but we'll just have to pick up where I left off. So I found this frame. It was in the trash, so I'm just kind of flipping it to make it look cool. Um, I actually really like the torn up detail and the weird texture that's on the frame already. So I'm going to leave that and just work with it. And I also got this print that was in the trash as well from a salon. So it had this really cool like scissors. I already cut it out. Right now it's drying. I glued this thin piece to a piece of cardboard. I might cut this out and put this on the back because I think this is who made the print. I'm not really sure. So I think I should cut that out and glue it on the back of the picture. Um, so I measured it out and I'm just, I just glued this section. It had like, again, these scissors in different colors on the cardboard. And I'm going to frame it in this. And I wanted to do a painting kind of over it and leave some of the prints popping through. I got this idea of making a collage piece um, from this YouTuber called Reissued. I will link his channel in the original video in my description box so you guys can see what he did. But I wanted to create my own type of version of a collage with mixing different things and just creating a really cool art piece that was all thrifted. Once these are dry, I'll get to painting them with this.
So as you may have noticed, there's really no wrong or right way to do this. I was spray painting over already paint. Now I'm putting paint over the spray paint. Like I've just been doing lots of different methods to try and achieve different looks, different textures, and these are the results. You'll have to let me know which one is your favorite. Comment that down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you a part of my YouTube family. It just keeps growing and growing. So thank you to all my previous supporters and the new people that have come in the last month or so. This is the result. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like the video and don't forget to check out the playlist. I have that link down below in the description box so that you guys can check out other cool projects that other people made and discover new YouTube creators here on YouTube. I will see you in my next video. Bye!